And the second mistake that we see ball players making when it comes to acceleration is stagnant feet or lazy feet. So we're going to get back in our athletic, our athletic stance that we just covered. Okay, we've got that good athletic stance. We've got the knees tucked in. We've got the chin up, chest up, parallel back and shins, but his feet are being real lazy right now. And Newton's law tells us that an object in motion stays in motion. So we don't want lack of motion. We don't want him to be here. We don't want that great athletic stance with no movement going on. We, want, we don't want super happy feet, but we want a little bit of motion going on. When you guys are up at the plate, coaches, any hitting coach is going to tell you that, that you've got to have a little bit of movement. You've got a little, little bit of a timing mechanism going on. Same thing goes from your athletic stance. So let's get down there. He's got his eyes on the pitcher right now. He's got that little bit of motion, a little bit of rocking going on. As soon as the pitcher starts his move, boom. He's got that motion. He's got some, he's got some fluidness going through his body so movement can continue. It's always easier to continue movement than to start movement.